Hello, my name is Bartrimé. I'm a postdoctoral researcher on microfluidics at the TIP service at the Université Libre de Bruxelles. I work on the crystallization of um, active pharmaceutical compounds uh, using microfluidics. So I work together with a company based in the Walloon region. So this project is also in collaboration with the La Région Wallonne. And we study the crystallization of active pharmaceutical compounds uh, with microfluidics. So it means that we perform a continuous crystallization of those really pure compounds to achieve the ideal size and shape so that these compounds can be used uh, inside medicines and are then put on the market in pharmacy. The major benefit of working at the Faculty of Applied Sciences, so at the Ecole Polytechnique of the ULB, is the fact that you really work on um, research that has a, a direct use. So in my case, I really make a really pure compound that will be, after this project, immediately used in pharmaceutical pills to help people, in fact. So it's the, 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 the most hands-on way that you can do research. So something that has a real impact immediate, even immediately after the, the project itself. And, and that's why uh, doing that kind of research at ULB is, uh, is, is really nice, because that kind of uh, free examination, which is really present here, um, so you can, anything that you can think of can be investigated. Having such a freedom is, is really ideal, is an ideal circumstances to work in. So today I brought a special object. Uh, I brought this, yeah, what we call is a two-dimensional textile reinforced tape. So this tape is not just a, a plain tape, no, it's really an, a tape that cannot catch fire. So in fact it's a tape that is used under motor hoods to cable wiring etc etc protecting people. And in fact it's the whole subject of my, of my thesis. So again it's a real example of how you can have an impact on society just by doing some research and being able to protect people just as a result of your own thesis is maybe the best example of having a really practical PhD subject. <laughs>